Hey guys. guys, we're back. Visor TV, I'm Visor. And I'm Alistair. And we're here for the Legend of Korra Book 2 finale. Episode 14 is upon us. And as I've been stating, this will probably probably be the last episode we're doing together. But but that's an if, you know, because like I, I don't know what the future is in store, you know. If like, all I know is I'm leaving to a different city. Really far away. Yeah, it's, you know, um, it, it sucks that we couldn't get like the whole thing. At least we got Avatar the whole thing down. We got like two see half the this show down. But like you know, I don't know what's gonna happen in the future. Like maybe by the time I post this, maybe we'll get an opportunity to do to do season three and four together. Or if not, you know, it'll probably probably just be me. But I'm not sure, you know. So I can't give you a guarantee, but. You know, we're, we're, uh, I know, but like, you know what, as I said, we're just going to focus on this episode because a lot, a lot of shit's going down. That's for sure. You know, and, uh, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed the ride, you know, cause like, I really hope you guys enjoyed what we do. We yeah. Love you guys as well. Yeah. We're, yeah. It's fun stuff. We do it because we enjoy it and, you know, hope you guys just enjoy it as well. So, you know, and that's as simple as that. So last episode, last was, episode, last cloud and Cora, we had the, just depression everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you want to find dep- depression in the <laughs> look at this episode? Yeah. <laughs> that defines depression. Yeah, it's just like, yo, um, Rava basically got pummeled to death. All the previous the avatars. All the previous avatars are gone. You know, the avatar state no like I'm pretty sure like the avatar cycle is, is destroyed. Yeah. Um and because of the you know the whole bridge to the past life. Her her own family that would do this kind of shit. You know? Her uncle, yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. I didn't even think about it that way. It's her own blood in a way, you know. Fuck. And you know, um, Vatu and and Onalak actually merged and became one, which I, which I, I thought Vatu's like fuck this, but like he actually became one. So, but like clearly by himself, he realized he couldn't do shit. Yeah. Um, and you know, it's just uh, things aren't, aren't aren't looking good. But Jinora has something in store. My assumption is she has some sort of light in her remaining. Yeah. You know, and then that might trigger something that. That's literally the only way I can see out of, out of the situation because Mako, Bolin knocked out, Korra is pretty much like, almost like dead. she's almost gone, um, and, and Raba's gone, and you know, Unalak is just, you know, he's just there, so like shit's not looking good, but man, you know, like we, we just have that one one little light of hope, which is Jinora, and like, come on, Jinora, do it up, you know, like uh, high expectations for what she's going to do, so yeah. You know, um, and that's pretty much it. So I'm excited. The last episode. The last episode, man. Freaking let's do Cora. Let's go, man. It was, it was a pleasure. Let's go. 14. Let's go. finale remind me of this finale reminded me of uh, book one avatars finale it was more of a spiritual side when Aang became like a big uh, spirit like he took he took the form of, the, of those the spirit fishes and took down like uh, all the soldiers of, in the fire nation oh book one yeah yeah book one of avatar i'm talking about okay, the Jao yeah. went and stuff. Yeah. that this like like cora like this 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 finale really resembled that one in my opinion like that and also you know she went to that state the eighth and yeah, that was like the season book two finale. It was kind of like a little mix there, yeah. When she like went in, became her own thing to fight off to fight against uh, Batu. Book two, or book three. It was book two when the, the spirit thing happened when I, I went into that thing. Oh, okay. Yeah. But man, yo, I am. It, it, like in terms of a finale, I, I I'm very satisfied by it. I I'm I'm kind of. I mean, yeah. Like, Wait, I, really? You're not satisfied? I'm not, I, I'm, I'm not comfortable with the idea that... Oh, you're talking about the know. ending. Yeah, yeah, well, no, that's a different thing. In terms of just, like, the conclusion of it, I'm happy. Like, amazing episode, again. Very spiritual, very, like... Like, you can feel it's deep. The whole book deep. is called Spirit. So yeah, like, like it's, it's a whole book, too, is about like, Spirit, you know? But, like, it's very deep, the way they do things and stuff. But, man, I really enjoyed this episode, and... Um, 
And yeah, man, yo, um, I just had a question, like, yo, Vatu, like, oh yeah, it got, yo, again, I'm Vatu, he's Bravo right now. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking lighting's changing here. But anyways, um, I really can't see anything. Okay, I think I can see. Oh, hi. Should I, see, should I see you watch the lighting come around? <laughs> the, the lighting is so <laughs> bad in this area. Fuck! Hopefully it didn't fuck up the reaction, but I can open the light, but anyways. But yo, um, yo, I had a question. Like, Vatu, like, Rama said you always need light and dark. You cannot destroy one another. You always need one to keep the other going. And obviously, like, Rama's still alive. But, like, is Vatu, like, is, is there is there a little bit of, like, darkness still alive? Is there, like, because we saw Vatu got, like, like I don't know, purified? He got purified and like he just he just like he went away peacefully. Maybe the, the Genova was that Genora? last Genora was that last bit of light. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm, no. What I'm trying to say is like we saw like the darkness go away, but but isn't there always supposed to be darkness and light in this world? Yeah, because like, one cannot go without the other. But like, but like I I, I did, like I saw I saw Batu completely disintegrate and like just get out peacefully, or whatever. But like, like you know. Oh, that's what you mean. But what I'm trying to say is like, where is like, like where's the darkness now? Where's the darkness now? You know, but like, how's the light gonna sustain without the darkness? Or am I missing something here? Is there still darkness in the world? Is there some Batu in the world left that we just don't know? About? I that's one thing I wanna like. I don't understand because they clearly say that, like well, one cannot be without the other. But like, but where's the where's Batu well, at? You know, I don't know. Maybe Batu is like the accumulation of like everyone's. Darkness, bad and deeds, shit. darkness. Uh, so like, like, so like, does darkness still exist? Vatu darkness, wasn't. darkness, darkness exists in humans. But she said specifically, like, Vatu cannot destroy me completely, and I cannot destroy him completely. That's what one, I'm one must live for the other to live. You know, so like, how how is like, like Vatu? This we saw we, we saw Vatu like he just he was gone. Like I, it would make sense if he got sealed again or something. But like, no, he just got purified. You know, so like, how is how is like. How is it, like how does the balance work in a sense? So I'm kind of I was kind of confused about that. Like I'm sure there's a reason. Uh, I, maybe I didn't ca- catch it the first time watching it. So, but man, yo, Genora, I was waiting for her to show up. I thought she was gonna show up earlier than, than she did. Yeah. But man, she showed up with a with a. Well, I, I think we all called that she had that one part of light remaining in her. I think that was like I think it was it was the obvious way to go about Perhaps it. Perhaps she knows she was the last bit of light. Well, she well we well, know she knows she's spiritual. Like, we know she's spiritual. Like, we know like. Like I don't know. know shit that like like yeah man. <laughs> 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 oh my god but Just yeah right. yeah yo in this episode we barely saw like you like Unalog I, I was kind of hoping Unalog did not get disintegrated as well I kind of wanted him to like survive and like pay for everything he's done like I felt like he got off way too easy. You know what I'm saying? Like, sure, his plans failed and shit, but like, I, I wanted him uh, to like. Oh, uh, sure. I'm just happy I'm not gonna see him again. I wanted him to survive, and I wanted him to pay for everything he's done. You know, kind of thing. Like, you gotta pay. You gotta live up to in front of everybody. You gotta live up to what you've done, and like, you gotta answer to like. You, get, you gotta suffer the consequences. You know, I just felt that you got off too easy. But then again, he merged with Batu, so he wasn't really himself anymore, too. So there like, you go. That's a, that's also like a point as well, right? But man, yo, go cool too. Yeah. What do you think? No, I enjoyed it, man. Like, it was like a, it was different. It was like, it was more of a spiritual way of going about things. And like, you know, overall, like, I thought it was a well, uh, I think it was a really good season. Like, I actually thought it was a really good season. Like, we I, got, we I got, enjoyed we, it. Yeah, we got to learn about the first Avatar. We first, to see that's it, probably the yeah. that's probably my favorite thing of the whole thing. Like, Avatar, yeah. Avatar, Avatar, Avatar One's like story, and like even the last three episodes, like that we watched today, like, like it, it was beautiful build up. You know, I loved yeah. it. Like, you know, everybody came through. It was so spiritual. Like. It's so soothing when you watch it, you know, like the, the music plays and like the way they do things and stuff. I enjoy that shit. I don't know. Me personally, I enjoy that shit. But, um, but yeah, man, um, shit, what else happened? Like, we, like, we, like the spirit. Well, I guess I, I, you know, yeah. As, <laughs> side note. Esther is not going with the uh, Bolin back to Republic City. <laughs> oh yeah, yo. So Bolin was actually like he wa- actually yeah, wanted to answer that question. He actually wanted to be with her, and he's like, yo, I want you. Why? Come, I want you to come with me to Republic City. Do you remember how Esther was chasing her? I don't know, man. Bolin is just like uh, he just wants a girl. He just wants any girl. At this point. He, yeah, he's got a ginger way for for him. So that's what I'm saying. But but you know, I don't know. I like how he's like he's like he's like okay, your brother can come too. <laughs> <laughs> like she, like, I don't, <laughs> and then Bolin, I'm like, no, I don't think she means that. So the mom is still alive, Unalak's wife. 
He yeah, felt like answer that question a few. Yeah, few yeah, we, we asked that. Or so she, they do have like a wife. So there's a thing they gotta explain yeah. that shit there. Yeah. So our dad was kind of <laughs> fucked up and refused to the most evil thing in the world. And he's gone now. So <laughs> the wife's like, whoa. <laughs> Like, well, even, kid, even the kids didn't give a shit, right? Because they had no emotional, they had no emotion in general, but like they had no emotional connection with them. Yeah. Or, the, or the, with. See how the son was like questioning, he's like, yo, I don't know about my dad. Yeah, he tried to leave me to expire. <laughs> their, their, their terminology is so like. Yeah, you, you'll be the. You, you, what would she say? She's like, you, I'll always remember you in that in that organ that pumps my blood or some shit. I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> God, so I, precise. I, I hope, I hope, I hope they get some sort of personality, man. They deserve it. Now that dad's gone, maybe they can live a normal life, and maybe they can fix their posture. You know, maybe get his shoulders up and like go to chiropractor. <laughs> like, he's not going like this every time. The dad will not let him go to the chiropractor. He's like, no, his shoulders must remain. That's the way of the <laughs> Batu. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! But yo, batu has gone. They, they, it was beautiful how we saw in the first episode the the binding thing they do, and how she uses that to like seal him up. You know. And like, man, like, yeah, the fact that she beat him with that binding thing that he used, wow, yeah. wow, it's like he created his own weakness. But, eh, it's, it's not his, like, I, I'm sure other spirit people know how to do it, but like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that he ended No, I'm mean, like, confused. He yeah, 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 horrible. Yeah. That, that, that's true, that's true, that's true. Yeah. But man, yo, fuck Umalak, like, the whole time, just wanted to, he's just a jealous fuck, honestly. I feel like it stems from wrong, jealousy. Man. He was just a jealous fuck of his brother. He wanted to be chief, so he, he, he snaked him out. And then he found out his brother's daughter's avatar, more jealousy ensued within him, you know? And at the end, he's like, I'm going to be the new avatar. Like, what a piece of shit. Like, there's no nothing like, yo, uh, Unalak is just a piece of shit. Like, literally, he's, 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 he's a devil. He's garbage. He's trash, like. Literally like, trash. He's garbage. I don't, I, I, I don't feel Like, I want, I want to see all. him in general. This is like, even man. at one point, like, we felt bad for, uh, what's his name? Amon and his brother. Oh, you know, yeah. Like, Tarlock. Tarlock. This guy's just like paranoid fuck. Yeah, with Tarlock and Amon, like, I actually enjoy those characters. This guy's like an OP version of Joe. Basically, yeah. Yeah, like, that's yeah. all he was. Like, you know, like, I just hate, I hate Unalak so much. Like, I just, there's nothing about him that I'm like, yo, you know, I'm like, nothing. This is absolutely nothing. Like, that's why I kind of want him to, like, survive and suffer more or some shit. <laughs> like, him alone, not, not mixed with the He should go that fog in the suffering. Yeah, you know what? Maybe he will. I really like, was because he's a human. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know. Like, I, I, he does not deserve no happy ending at all. I don't care. So you know, I miss. I you know, still, I know from like last episode, but yeah. still, like Jao, we, we find out what Jao is. Jao is just like I'm, I'm a fucking lost soul. I thought we'd find other people in there too. The other people that we knew, but it was just Jao. It was just, yeah. well. I think Jao was the only one we saw that actually went down in that spirit place. You know, so. Do you think Michael and Brian like they, they thought this through like uh, when they created Korra is like no no I think they, thought, they thought that far ahead no I I, I, I well well you think you you're saying when they made Avatar they thought ahead of Korra I don't think so no huh? because because like at that time like they, they didn't even know if they're gonna get approved for the seasons they just want to focus on Avatar itself so obviously oh. but like you know but like once I think I think once they came up with Korra and the idea of Korra I feel like. They went back to Avatar and like, okay, here are some things we could like bring back in a cool way, you know, Iroh to the spirit world, the library, yeah. Jao, what happened, people always question what happened to Jao, let's bring him back, you know, mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure that they like retro- retroactively went back and like, okay, we can make this work, we can make that work, but the story of Avatar 1, like, you know, from everything we know, this is how we're going to bring the origin story, I'm pretty sure they thought this whole thing through and, and like, yeah. like, you know, it's, it's not too hard when you have a whole like series to go by, you know, with Avatar and stuff, so. But man, they did a great job. Like, I, 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 think, I, I enjoyed like, it. I enjoyed it. In season, in, in book three, do you think that her mission would be like to get those connections to the past avatars? Or is it like done? Yeah, like apparently her avatar connection is over. But is she like a, like a brand new new first avatar? Or she, like, because okay. she did merge with Rava again, you know? Yeah. To so. become like the next... Uh, like. So we become the Avatar again. But that's, like, that sucks, because like... You I, I want to see Avatar Aang, I want to see all the Roku and everybody. It's not even that, but if she's in danger and she, like, she gives like, like deeper help, Yeah. there's no one there for her. I, I, I'm sure next season, like, they're, they're probably going to do something about that, because like, this, is, this, is, this is what makes Avatar, you know? Like, it's Avatar State, bro. Like, the Avatar, the past lives and stuff. So, like, maybe that's, maybe that's like a plot point that can go by next season. That makes know? sense. It makes sense, but like, I don't know, but like... I wonder what the villain's gonna be next. <laughs> there's another book, so that has to be a villain. Yeah, there's two more books for me in book three and book four. Fuck, man, I just wanna watch it. <laughs> but yo, um, 
I didn't know there was four, four books. There's, there's four books. I thought there's three books. No, there's, there's so we're only half done. Yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> we only finished book one and two. There's oh, book three and I didn't four. know that. Yeah, man. Oh, fuck! I wish I was leaving in like a week so we could have like binged that too. I know, right? <laughs> fuck. You have to leave. Why well, have to leave tomorrow? Damn it! I want to, I want to binge like book three and four too. <sighs> fuck, man. I don't know what's gonna happen about that, but we'll get to that later. But yo, what are your thoughts on the spirit world being open, like this being left open? I think it's a recipe for disaster. Like I, I have a feeling, like I know, like like Juan, like, like because Juan grew up in an era where like spirits and humans did not get along. It was ugly. It was disastrous. And it, it just, took, and it only took Juan. Uh, it took Juan. It took Juan to like yo. I think Juan, based off his current era situation, he's like the best thing we could do is like. Separate our shit and seal it, you know. Mm-hmm. But Cora grew up and like she all like like for the last couple of years, like we saw the spirits and are living in the spirit world, and we're living in our world separate. But now Cora's like she like was Unalak right? Are we supposed to like live together? It's like you know maybe like, begin a new dawn upon us, a new age of like spirits and and he was living with each other. But I don't know if that's the right thing. Obviously, because I'm like we're biased. Like we like for us, like you know we. We, we kind of we saw like Juan's like story of how that shit didn't work out and this whole season in general like how the spirits you know my happen. favorite part of this book was seeing last time from Iroh is like seeing Juan man me too yeah I was like first yeah. of all no, I'm going forever about Juan I know and I love Juan bro and that, that story was amazing. and it's the fact that he's the first and he's so cool he's so cool right and he was a street rat yeah I know like as Tenzin said when they went into the, into the tree of memories and shit he's like he's like yo like you know like like Juan was uh, he was a nobody. He was, out, he, he, was an out, he was a scrub on the street trying to make some money and like just stealing, nice. stealing, trying to survive. Like, trying to survive, like you know. What I mean? But like the thing about him, he had character and determination, you know. And, and he had that, heart. He had heart, man. That, that, it, it that's what made him the avatar. Exactly. Like, that, that, like you could really apply that to our lives as well. Like you could be a nobody, you know. You, you know, you could be a nobody on the streets. But like, if you have like enough character, you know, to like do the right thing, like yeah. enough determination to like somehow like strive to make it, like enough and enough confidence to believe in yourself, bro, you could go places in life, you know, go from zero to hero. Like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, the, the, like uh, that's why I like the little lessons you can learn about this show. Like, I, I, I really like take them for like you know, granted, but I, I, I enjoy these little things they do here. Yeah, they really. And it's, 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 it's a good thing, you know. It's, it reminds us too, like shit, you know. But man, yo, Cora and Mako, season one. They, they fell in love, they're together. Season 2 ending, they broke up. It's not gonna work out. They love each other, but they, they realize it's not gonna work out. Is it season 3, are we going, are getting them back together? And season 4, they're they gonna break up? It's like a, it's like a little flower. Like, she loves me, she loves me not. She loves me, yeah. she loves me not. Well, I think it's a famous fight. There's like book, book, book one, she loves me. still go back to, uh, to Asami. <laughs> I don't know, man. No, no, that's the game plan. That's it. Oh, you know, it's so obvious he didn't go back to Asami, you know? Mm. But I mean, Korra's the one losing here, you know, in a sense. But fuck, man. Like, I don't know what's going to happen. Because Korra's an avatar, bro. Like, like you know, her, her life, yeah. her destiny is going to be, like, a leadership role. Like, she's going to be busy. She's a... Her, I don't think she has time. Like, and she's well, just, same she's with a teenager Aang, right now. And then they still marry Katara. So. Well, and, like, like uh, that's what I'm saying. But like, I feel like they, they like uh, Mako's life. Like, Katara was like a housewife in a sense, you know. Like, it, like it, well, no, 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 I'm not. Like, she was like, like she helped out, but she was like more willing to like, you know, like, like she, she has her kids. She has to take care of her kids, you know. But Korra's a girl over here, so like. You like you know you know what I'm saying like yeah okay like, but, I don't know I don't or, 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 I don't know I don't know I, like I, like I don't, I just I'm trying to make I'm trying to make uh, Aang had to have a kid you know to to like he had to he had to find somebody to have kids and stuff to to extend the Airbenders you know he, or else it's gonna be extinct Korra like I, I don't I don't think it's I, I, actually I take that back I don't, I don't think it's more about about like getting married or having kids I feel like it's just compatibility you know. I think it's compatibility. Well, Aang did love Katara. Yeah, and at the end of the day, Katara loved him back. So eventually, out, yeah. yeah. So I feel like I feel like the same thing that happened with yeah. with, with Korra and uh, Mako. Well, that, that's what you expect, you know. But yeah. like, you never know. Like, yeah, with the show, seriously, you never expect. You never, you never, never know what's gonna happen. Yeah. All right. Anything else? Um, no, man. I think I think that's it. I think that's all I got with discussion, man. It was a great finale. Um, like I I I, I really enjoyed it. Um, and you know, it's just, I'm just sad that I wish we could just binge book three and book four, you know, know, right now, but it is what it is. But, but, but what we can do right now is go on to the MVP and flop. All right, guys, it's not time to get to see me 
your MVP of today. And who's gonna be the flop of today? MVP. Um, I'm Gen- leaning towards Genora yeah, for this go. one. I'm going for Genora because, as much as Cora did everything, you know. But then Cora was kind of out. She yeah, was well, out. Cora was literally the key. She was a key piece in like bringing the light back, bringing Rava back, literally saving the Avatar cycle and saving beating, the world. Honestly, saving the world and beating that asshole of uh, Unalak and fucking uh, Batu, you know. Like without Jinora and her instincts to like, yo, you know, this is it. She she didn't go back to her body. She went to her. She remained her spirit form. Yeah. She came back, man, and like, yo, you gotta respect that. You know, Jinora. Like when we first saw her, we thought she'd be one of those characters. as a funny little, you know, in the kid character. But man, she like really showed up this episode. Gotta respect that, man. Shout out to Cora, Tenzin, and everybody. But man, this episode, it's gotta be Jinora. It's gotta be Jinora. Little girl, Hands Jinora, down. man. Hands down, good for her. She's the MVP of this episode. You made us believe. Put clothes on our backs. You sacrifice for us. You the real MVP. All right, guys, look at the flop. Everybody do the flop. Hmm. Well, this one, it's it's pretty obvious. It's gonna be Unalak. Unalak. Fuck and you. You know what? Batu as well. But yeah, I think both. Yeah, Unalak and Batu um, are gonna be the flop for today's episode. Unalakatu. Unatu. Uh, honestly, Unalak as a villain. Um, I, I just hated him, you know, I just hated him from the start, I hated his philosophies, I hated how fake he was, how like, he had this Will's, negative, like he was a jealous freak. Will um, sacrificed his daughters. He didn't care, had to look at his family, family at the point. Like, I, just, I just hated him as a villain. Like, Ahmad, like, as a villain, was like, like, he was amazing. He, he, actually, at one point, it was, it was still like, at least he was doing something worth fighting for, you know, in a sense. And he, had, and he had reasons for it. Yeah. Unalak was just a power hungry fuck from the beginning. Like yeah. his only reason was power hungry, you know? Like Yeah, power hungry. Like greedy. He's greedy. Aban- he does not hesitate to abandon his family. His brother banished him. His his brother's daughter wants to kill her. I wouldn't be surprised if he just kills on that too. Like yeah, exactly. He probably did, you know? Who knows? Like fuck that. Like I hate Un- I hate Unalak with a passion. With passion. And I really wish he got like a lot worse than what he got, you know? Like I I, I like he should be devoured and brought back to life and just devoured, devoured and for eternity. Like I, I, I hate him so much. Get out there by Tenzin. Get out. You know what? He, that, that's even horrible. Well, I want to wish that by anything, but man, he should like get knocked out by Tenzin or something. That's how far. I, that's how much I hate him. Get knocked out by Tenzin. By Tenzin, the guy who gets knocked out. But anyways, man, man, fuck Unalak, fuck Batu as well. Uh, honestly, Batu, okay, that guy's trying to escape, he's in prison 10,000 years, he's evil, whatever, but like, Unalak in, in general, man, this it's piece of shit. shit. And, and, and Unalak got sealed away from the thing that Korra, like, with that sealed yeah, yeah, that he talked that Korra. He, yeah, yeah, well, in a sense, it was poetic Ooh. justice, and and that, that's all she wrote, man. Unalak, yeah, man. you piece of shit, you're gonna be the flop for this episode. Alright, so, we are here, um, uh, yo, we managed to finish book two together. Um, you know, um, I'm leaving, I'm flying tomorrow, so unfortunately we cannot continue this binge to get book 3 and book 4 together. And as the future holds, we I don't know what's happening in the future, to be honest. I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow, except flying. <laughs> you know, it's, it's one of those things where like I, I, like, I can't promise you guys that we're gonna meet up and we're gonna get book 3 and book 4 done, you know? Like, I, I can't promise you guys that, I don't wanna be, like, t- say that, so... Like, it is what it is. By the time, like, I'm releasing this episode, I'll, I'll have a clearer picture of what's happening, so... Yeah. So, I'm just, I'm just, we'll, we'll, yeah. we'll keep you updated. Yeah, we'll keep you updated, like, you know, like, as things stand right now, like, I'm still posting, I'm still trying to edit out Avatar episodes, so... We still got a ways to go for that, but, like, I don't know what's gonna happen by the time we, re- we actually reach this episode. So, um, I'm sure right now, by the time you're watching this, you know, we, like, you guys probably know what's happening, but, uh, I don't know what ha- what's happening at that time. Yeah. But you know, it is what it is. Uh, we enjoyed the shit out of this. It was the Legend of Korra. We got half a show down together. You know? It was fun. Uh, this is weird. It's weird, weird man. It, it is what it is, but. It's been a pleasure, bro. It's been a pleasure. Peace out, homeboy. Peace out, everybody. Have a good one.